Greetings all you mini spines and crimes and today this shooting video is with my uh, Norinco SKS, the Chinese SKS from 1957 at 100 and 200 yards. So fun fact that the SKS, this really goes for any 7.62x39 rifle, but 7.62x39 is a pretty nice cartridge but it doesn't really have a whole lot of really really long range because it really only has about 300 yards slash 300 meters in it. They're not exactly the same measurement because, you know, metric versus imperial. A anyway, so, with all that being said, this is my target at 100 yards. So, really not bad at all. So, I did a little bit of a warm-up on 50 yards. I'm not going to show that target because it. I already I shot at it with my RDB as well when I was zeroing it. Anyway, so, not bad. So, at 100 yards with this rifle, by the way, I'm using a uh, Tula 760 by 39 122 grain full metal jackets. There, I would say, it's not exactly the highest quality ammunition. Uh, it's it can be a bit uh, like slightly random. I've had some days where even at 50 yards it was hitting extremely low. Other times it was perfectly fine. The SKS should be hitting high at 50 because it is battle zeroed at 100 meters but it doesn't always uh and i think that's the ammo um anyway so at 100 i was just basically putting the uh the site near the center and that's honestly i'm happy with myself at 100 and at 200 before i show the target of course i uh, took that rear sight and moved it up to 200 so it would be zeroed at 200. That's just something that you would have to do uh, because you're hitting at a longer range and you need to slightly aim the rifle up at that and especially with the 760x39 because it nearly at basically I believe at 200 even out of a 20 inch barrel like what the SKS has it is starting to drop a little bit. Not by a whole, whole lot, but it will start to sink like a rock after maybe 250 yards. Anyway, this is the target. I am very happy with this. Now, I did fire about 20 rounds at this target, or was it like 10? I think I... Did I do two clips, or did I only do one clip? Um, yes, I can say clip here because I'm loading via stripper clips. Uh, regardless, um... Not bad. Either uh, I was, you know, way off target, which is very possible, or the ammo was dropping a bit more than I would expect, even with the rear sight uh, zeroed for 200. Now, I believe that it is the ammo, it is partially the ammo, it also is me too, and also the rifle, because it's not that the rifling is bad. The rifling is very good on the SKS. The iron sights are perfectly zeroed. I know that for a fact. It's just... The trigger is awful. It is a really long, weird mush trigger. It's, come on, give this thing a break. It's been th run through the ringer probably a hundred times at this point. It is old and beat up, but I love it regardless because I own an SKS and they're getting harder and harder to find. Also, it's completely matching and it's in pretty good condition. So, that's fantastic. But, remember what I said with the... The Tula ammo hitting low at 50 and also at 100. Well, if we put in that in perspective, then yeah, it's going to be hitting low even at 200 maybe or even, even way lower. Now, this happens because of, it's not just because it's cheap ammo, but you know, there's, it's not match grade ammo, so there's less care put into each and every projectile uh, making sure that you know this batch of ammo is as accurate as the last batch it's not it this stuff is from russia and i, I don't want to say the russians make bad ammo they definitely do not the 760 54 rim that i get from my mosin the tula ammo the 148 grain that stuff is awesome it is really accurate stuff like fantastic stuff thumbs up but the 762 by 39 i think it's a little inconsistent um, side note, the x the, uh, that I was using for the, uh, RDB today was stupidly inconsistent, but then I went over to the super cheap stuff, uh, the AAC, 75 grain boat tail hollow point, it was perfect. 
yeah, the, the ammo can just range in, like, is it going to be an awesome batch or is it going to be trash? You know, it's it's extremely random. Now, if you say, well, my 308, I always buy this ammo and it always works all the time. That's your experience, and also 308 can be very, very, very expensive. Uh, all ammo can be super expensive. If you're buying the expensive stuff, the match grade stuff that is actually made for, like, five or 600 yards for 308, then... Okay, what are you proving? Regardless, I hit the target at 200 freaking yards with iron sights. I am very, very happy with that. I probably could have done it with my Arasaka if the Arasaka sights were zeroed. I'm pretty goddamn certain I'll be able to do it with the Mosin once I eventually do that. Because the range I go to where I'm allowed to film is a uh, uh, there's a FUD there that thinks if a Mosin has more than two rounds in a, in a in a magazine, it's going to instantly explode. Sir, you don't know shit. I could do an entire video debunking this crap, and in fact, maybe I eventually will. Anyway, I'm very happy that I was actually able to hit the damn thing at 200 yards, because at 200 yards, it doesn't sound very far away, but when you're aiming at a target that's this size, it's kind of tiny and I don't have any magnification at all I'm just using iron sights and pretty coarse iron sights the SKS was not really meant to do 200 plus but it can uh, it's more so just you know rifle has iron sights rifle should be used at 50 or 100 meters that sort of thing but regardless ammo is fine mostly and rifle is fine you stupid American pig blit you understand, you do not know how to shoot, learn how to shoot, rifle is fine. That's my Russian accent, I know it's trash, but I don't care. Rifle is fine, uh, it is more than fine. I am, I'm very pleased with myself. I, damn, damn. I hit a man-sized target at 200 yards with iron sights. That isn't, that isn't something that a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are, oh, that's not that impressive, come on. I don't care. That's It's not that easy of a shot. Don't be that one asshole that says, I do that all the time. I don't care. Typically, I'm shooting at 50 yards, maybe 100 if I'm feeling saucy. Not 200. Anyway, I will try it with my Mosin once I get the Mosin perfectly zeroed, and it won't. it probably won't take me all that long. It's very close. So... Yeah, uh, eventually I will do that, and hey, 760 by 54 rimmed has a very flat trajectory, just like 308. Yes, it does. It's pretty much the communist 308. Well, I guess Tsarist 308, because it was made in 1891, uh, or a little bit before that. Very old cartridge. So yeah, it's basically the boomer boomer 308. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, in Troby, we trust.